In fact, if, when we look at this story, what's important to understand is this is not a one-off case. We pulled out for you some big names that have been talked about who suddenly died of heart attack at a very young age. Filmmaker Rituparno Ghosh, just 49. Director Raj Kaushal, 49 as well. Actor Vivek Shok, 47. Actor Amit Mistry, 47 again. Actor Inder Kumar, 44. Abir Goswami, just 37. Arthi Agrawal, 31. And of course, then there is Siddharth Shukla, 40. Just 40. Well, we looked into some research and tried to understand why is it that Indians are said to be more vulnerable for heart diseases. And the data really is shocking to reveal to you are our hearts really weaker than compared to the world. Heart diseases in India are rising 5 to 10 years earlier than in any other population across the world. Mean age of the first presentation of heart attack is happening early to mid 50s as well, from 30 to 50. That's how broad the window has become now. And if you look at estimates at this point, compared to, we looked at a window in a broad window of over three decades and we figured out that cardiovascular diseases are and linked mortality to it, that's people dying because of those, rose by 103% in men. And it rose to about 90% in women as well. 35% of first heart attack victims are under 35. That's what surveys are saying at this point. And this is not to scare you that everybody is vulnerable. This is to actually point out some data and statistics so that we can all together, along with scientists and doctors in the country, find out why this is happening. Increased rate of uh, the coronary artery disease, that SCAR as it's known and in India, is also quite phenomenal. Look at this data, for example. In India, CAD risks are three to four times higher than Americans. It's six times higher than the Chinese. It's 20 times higher than the Japanese. And then there is also a group of people, a subset, who are said to be at higher risk. If you fall under them, it is very important that you consult your doctor and take your health into your own hands now. Let's look at some risk factors now. Substance abuse tops that list. Excessive alcohol, smoking, said to be a major, major killer there. High blood pressure, high cholesterol levels as well. Lack of physical activities, diabetes. You might have it or you might have a family history of it. You have to be careful. And then, of course, there is poor diet. So all these things, if you fall in this category, means that you're already in a vulnerable group. But even if you are not, we try to understand from doctors, are there any telltale signs? Look at the cases right now that we are facing. We actually get to see that none of them had any previous disease, for example. We actually hear of stories of people dying in their, in their sleep, suddenly fainting and never waking up again. So are there some telltale signs that you can watch out for? And this is very significant. It does not mean if you're young, you can ignore them at all. Look at this list carefully. If you have chest discomfort, and it is a broad term discomfort really, but it should go on to tell you that if you're feeling, if you're not feeling very good, if you're feeling some palpitation as well, sit down, take note, call your doctor. Nausea said to be another telltale sign. Indigestion. A lot of people take it as just acidity maybe, heartburn as well, and they feel they've eaten something wrong, it'll pass. You have to consult your doctor and pe let people around you know that this is happening. Stomach pain, excessive stomach pain said to be another sign. Pain that spreads in the arm. Dizziness or lightheaded feeling as well. The next one will shock you, it surely did shock me, which is throat and jaw pain. Who could tell that this is actually related to the heart? But it is. Unusually loud snoring. So this is something that your partner should be watching out for. It might also sound like gasping or choking at times. Sweating for no reason. And long-lasting cough, especially with the white or pink mucus, watch out for that. If you have swelling that you're seeing in your legs, your ankles and your feet, tell your doctor. Let them know and run some tests. Irregular heartbeat, of course, is there as well. 
So these are some of the things that you must keep in mind that we found out in our research as well. But what should you be doing? This is in no way to say or spread panic that everybody needs to be rushing to the doctors right now and getting all their tests done. But this is only FII to give you information that can actually help make a decision.